I got two surprises with me. I'm, <laughs> I showed you all the load, and uh, it's been a couple days since that happened because the weather and, I was, and the dump was closed, and it's just not open every day. Not open seven days a week, so I had to wait. I guess uh, some kittens decided to make a home on my thing, or some mama cats decided to make a home for their kittens on my thing. Cause I'm pulling apart, I'm pulling out barrels, and I'll be damned if I see a fucking little gray kitten on the ground, on the floor of the trailer. And I'm like, fuck. So I put it in a plastic bag, so I think it's too small to cut its way out, and I put it on the floor of my Suburban. And then I get to like the second to last can, the one filled with all the dead poison ivy and everything, the one that fit that that had a baby or put a baby in well that baby was in it again uh, even though I take it out I guess she put it back so and now it's fast so she got babies in two different spots looks like and uh, so I pulled that one out and went to put it in the bag with the other one well that had escaped from the bag and it was crawling through my car so I had to find it and I grabbed them both and I just put them in one of the empty barrels and that's where they're at now in an empty barrel in the middle, so it's locked in. I mean, all the barrels are locked in, locked down. They ain't going nowhere anyway. Uh, but yeah, the kittens are in the middle, secured one, and so no airflow or nothing. They're just curled up together, having a grand old time. Look at this horse laying down. You fucking lazy horse. Had a little foe with them too. Foe, fawn. Is that what they're called? A foe? Is that what a baby horse is? Fuck. Growing a mass central up in here. Quick. Well, I looked everywhere, and I can't find my selfie stick. And I gotta go take a shit, so I can't look too much longer. But look what I ordered, that I didn't even know you could order. Heavy duty park grill, single den. I'm totally ordering a bigger one for when I get that thing built out there. But it just comes in three pieces. It comes in the... I mean, this is a one piece that's been bent, clearly. There's no welds on it. And I forget the gauge, but uh... It's a good gauge. And then I thought we put the whole pole in the cement, but it's got these anchor bolts. Well, it's got these anchors. I'm going to have to get bolts for it, I'm assuming. Oh, no, maybe it does go in, and maybe this is on the bottom. Yeah, I apologize. This goes to the bottom and screws on to the heavy-duty pipes here, which are, believe me, super heavy-duty. And I guess that does go directly into the cement. And some handles for the grill grate, which honestly seems like the less beefy thing, the least beefy thing. But, uh... And put a little cement pad right there about where that grill is and put that bitch in there and then I'm gonna go see Uncle Bobby and it's only $129 maybe less oh, no, it's a little bit more expensive because it was gonna be like 29 bucks for shipping but it was 39 bucks for a year's membership uh, for free shipping on anything standard shipping for a year so since I'm gonna order another one of those and probably one for my kids for their birthday or for Christmas I mean I uh, did the membership thing to get free shipping, and uh, that is the same exact grill that they use in national parks. So, score! Goddamn orange, you are still alive. So this fucker, he keeps on scratching his neck. And every time he scratches his neck, because it's scabbing up and it itches, he cuts it up more. And so this whole fucking scab is just working its way around his whole fucking head. Pretty soon he's just not going to have any hair on his neck, just raw flesh. Oh, so hot. Did the camera steam over? Did the camera fog over? My freaking glasses did. Ah, oh. come on. Oh. So many hots. Ah. Oh. So we had determined, we had determined that most foxes mate for life. I think we were all, I, said, hey, hey. I think we all recall that. I think we do. And uh, I gotta make sure I touch these kitties on a regular basis so they don't get freaking feral. And don't let me give them the loving muffin. I was just about to tell you, I was just about to say, you know, the fox is definitely a, uh, definitely are back in some form or fashion or they never left or now they're just uh, maybe now they're just uh, 
they're reestablishing domain because they're about to have another litter. I don't know. But anyway, we noticed fox smell recently. Well, I need to get the I need to get the quick quick release pug one mount to throw y'all on the dash because the way I got it set up. As I know a possibility. As I know a possibility. It occurs to me that I probably shouldn't have taken apart my freaking Oh, you won't need any more six by sixes. I mean two by sixteens. Well I do. I really just need to go ask my brother in law to fucking get those rocks off his trailer. He's got pallet attached pallet forks for that fucking tractor. Oh, wouldn't that, that douchebag to piss on me if I was on fire? So I cannot find any regulations whatsoever for the state of Georgia dictating the rules and laws of rear overhang on a residential trailer. All I can find is commercial, commercial laws in the Georgia code and uh, and federal law. Well, federal law says four feet. I can't overhang more than four feet from the rear. I need six feet. I was wondering if I could get away with an extra two feet off the front. Or if that wouldn't endanger, like when I turn, I'm gonna fucking hit that shit, right? Definitely. Unless it extends off the middle, then I should be good, right? If I had some here, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we found a solution, boys and squirrels. I think we may have found a solution. All right, so I just need to create some even planes for the wood to sit on. And Uncle Bobinos, it only feels like 96, so it's cool. Good enough. I can get seven, 16 foots on there. 16 foots, 16 foots, 16 feet, 16 fighters, 16 fritters. What the fuck is that for? Never been noticed that before. What are you for? What are you doing there? What are you for? Oh, I know what it's for. It's for when the gate stands up. It's, it's a stopper for the gate. Well, look, I figure stuff out. <laughs> well, it's <coughs> 6.40, 6.48 in the morning. And I should have been rolling out at 5.48 in the morning. But I didn't wake up till 6. And uh, it's already... God knows. 88% humidity. 72% dew point. It says it's only 75. Which it does feel like when you're not doing anything. The second you get to start doing stuff, it don't feel like 75 anymore. It feels like 175. So, needless to say... It's way too hot, and I'm way too miserable. I'm also way too lazy. I mean, truth be told, there's no reason whatsoever why I really need to be doing any of this. It can all wait, <clears throat> except for the fact that I kind of need an area for, you know what I mean? To work, you know, to put my soul. It's just, I don't really need to do all this stuff, but at the same time, I do. So yeah, I go to Home Depot to get the wood for my little uh, workshop extension. <clears throat> And uh, I started thinking about it last night. I'm like, dude, you haven't even thought about in your mind about actually all the stuff you need. Like, you need more stuff. Let's go. This is a thousand bucks, dude. This is another thousand bucks. And holy fuck, man, a thousand bucks here, a thousand bucks there. Could have had the roof put on already. I'm really, I'm trying to get the fucking whole roof to just start pouring water inside the house so I can light it on fire and just quit life. That must be my, that must be my reasoning behind this. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep it down to a minimum here. And. Uh, go crazy over wood purchases, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that definitely could be 37 here in about three seconds. So I was going to go to, I was going to go last night, but you know, ever since Corona came about, <coughs> they don't do their late hours anymore. I think they used to be able until 10. I'm almost positive that was their, their closing time every day except Sunday. Oh, I'm not sure they only close an hour early. But anyway, they close at 8. 
and well, you know, it don't get dark till seven something, which means it don't get cool till eight. <laughs> and you know, so I could have gone earlier and then come home mostly and worked and loaded in the cool weather or cooler weather. But I also don't have a uh, not sure about my trailer lights and how operational they are. So I thought it best if I go in the daytime. Oh, what are y'all looking at? I'm over here. Old C10 boys. Well, that was miserable. I left the house at about 15 till 7. It's now 8.15. It's been about an hour 45. But there's nobody in the store hardly. Or at least there wasn't when I rolled up. So I was able to flow right through it for the most part. And there was somebody right there to help me load up real quick. So that was cool. And I got everything tied down. And good to go. Hopefully. I mean, one of my straps is totally about to snap, but we'll see if it goes to the house. We'll check it down the road here. Hopefully I don't lose it. I mean, I totally have more straps with me, and I can totally just redo it, but that would be work. Holy shit, apparently the fucking stock of trailers at Home Depot is gone. They done bought them all. Look at the state of her, boys. Oh my goodness. I should not have, have done that one that way. But Zero Fox, in the Zero Fox department, on account of the Zero Fox Factor. On account of the Zero Fox Factor. Because, you know, sometimes... Sometimes you just don't care, right? And we'll go ahead and... We'll scrap that strap, though. Definitely. That'll be the last transport we do on that one. I'm trying to... I'm still trying to figure out what the right angle is for the GoPro. I don't know. You know, it tilts differently than my than my other one. I typically, you know, the other one goes in the head, right? I wear it on my head typically. I mean, I could wear this. I can't do it on working in the sun like this. There's no way I can have something on my head besides my cover. You know, I got to keep the sun off me somewhat. All right. Oh, good. Yeah. There we go. I used to have so much trouble with these stupid straps when I first started messing with them. I could never get them to stay right. I never knew how to fucking cinch anything down and I couldn't get them to tie. And inevitably, and nobody ever showed me. Nobody ever, like when I first started, like nobody ever told, showed me proper techniques or, I mean, um, I figured out proper ways to tie it pretty quick because, you know, I was a Boy Scout. So I knew my knots. I just had to figure out the right one to to use. I had to search the old memory banks for a little bit. Yeah, that sucks, man. I lost a lot of strap there. I guess I'll I guess I'll cut it there and salvage a little bit. Five hundred dollar. I mean, I think it was four twenty nine actually. So that's seventy five off. So four hundred and twenty nine dollar for fifteen. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 90, what, 6 inch, 92 inch, whatever, uh, just over 8 foot, freaking 2 by 4s, uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 2 by 6s, pressure treated, 16 foot, and two four by sixes, 12 foot pressure treated, and one, two, three, four, five bags of quick crete and two bags of gravel. Where am I going? That's not where any of this stuff goes. That's better than my shit. I would be fucked next time I want to go get something. Oh, and four pieces of rebar. Forgot about that. Forgot about the rebar. Four 10 foot lengths of, I don't know, whatever kind of fucking rebar. And I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy some, some ties, but all they had were giant packs of ties of like, I don't know, a fucking thousand or some shit for like 20 some odd dollars. 
or oh i had some load shift definitely or i know i guess it's the angle of my truck i had it turned earlier just saying oh and a filter oh fuck i got a lot more i got this fucking oil filter that was 40 bucks by itself my john deere and then i got some great stuff and some spray paint and some roof flashing polyurethane sealant roof and flashing polyurethane sealant and some gutter gs121 permanently flexible water resistant seal clear just because i'm not even sure I, there's a couple spots in my vinyl siding i need to try to seal up i'm not really 100 sure how to go about doing it and i haven't researched it and i just kind of fucking I mean, ideally, ideally, I need to, uh, I need to take the siding off. Like this is just fucking. This is how moronic, how moronic I am. I'm out here mowing or something the other day, and I'm just looking. I'm like, what is this big hole in the side of the trailer? What is this? What is this in the siding? Where it's all. And then I'll proceed to, I'm like, oh, is that the cement board underneath? And I just proceed to stick my fucking finger in it and punch a hole. And I asked the old lady, the same day, I'm like, what is this thing that I just poked? And she's like, oh, that's where my sister and her boyfriend had the grill way too close to the house um, so many years ago. You know, which ironically is what I did to the front of the house, except I didn't actually tear it. I just warped it. Oh, you can't even saunt it because the scaffolding is in front of it. But, you know, that's why the siding is all dicked by the door. Because that's initially where I put the, the grill. And it's hilarious that after her sister freaking melted her shit 20 years previous, she didn't bother telling me, hey, dumbass, I know you're used to living in, like, brick houses and shit, but you can't have your grill right up against the vinyl or it's going to fucking melt it and put a hole in it, go look at the back. And by the same token, I can't believe that she never did anything. Like, are there any other fucking dudes that lived here, her ex-husband or the fucking dude she lived here with five years with, that none of these motherfuckers fix this hole. I guess they're all just as big a piece of shit as I am. But nonetheless, we gonna remedy that shit. I'm just not really 100% sure how to go about doing it. That's why I was just thinking I'm gonna go ahead and I mean, I'm thinking I ought to use this great stuff, but god damn, I really wanted to look for a smaller can because, you know, once you fucking crack this bad boy, it's just use the whole goddamn thing or use what you can and then throw the fucking thing in the garbagios. So I think just in... Hey, buddy, having some grass? Just in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the interest of not wasting it, in the interest of not wasting it, I think... I am going to, I was going to see, yeah, I got a little hole, a little hole here, a little hole there, yeah, nothing there, and so I got the hole in the back that I showed y'all, and I got that little hole there in the side of the house, and then I guess I'm just going to use whatever I can left and try to, uh, <laughs> Tried, like I say, just the interest in not wasting, and then I'm just going to fill on these holes in this and all these cinder blocks that are this way, mostly just to keep uh, critters, you know, any bigger rodents or whatever, potentially out of the house, so uh, or out from underneath the house. I've had two mice in the house in the last month, and I haven't had mice since when I first came here. She had mice. I got rid of them all. You know, I started. I, I, I got moved the fucking pet animals back. I cut down the fences. I got uh, the vegetation cut back away. I cleaned up the fucking yard. I destroyed the fucking places where they were fucking living um, or could take refuge rather outside and cleaned them up and put in poison around the house, underneath the house, and set traps inside and got rid of them all. And, you know. After a couple months, we didn't have any more mice. And we haven't had any the entire time, except for every once in a while when they mow the fields, we might find one or two um, in a trap. Because I just leave traps set, right? And uh, so nothing. But now, all of a sudden, recently, we've had a couple 
And part of it's probably because I've been ripping out all the vegetation with all the scaffolding and the fucking roof and soffit, and I've been mowing this field and all that. Then up there, right now, see, I fucking, oh my god. Right now, I think we will we'll set some posts, I guess. Oil and oil filter, all in one. So fucking weird. I did not realize that when I bought that fucking mower. <laughs> Would not have done that. I need multiple cameramen, multiple cameras, cameras, multiple angles. Let's see what you do is, well, forgetting to bring any posts or, you know, batter boards, whatever they fucking call it, to, you know, stabilize your how you doing. What is all over y'all? I apologize. I apologize. So yeah, instead of getting that stuff and having it ready in some sort of modicum of degree or asking for help or any of that shit, what you do is you bring it over there unprepared and then try to figure out how you're going to balance it and then think, oh, I'll somehow use my post hole diggers for that. Once you're stuck in the ground, you proceed to yank out of the ground one handed, punch yourself in the nose with the end of the handle, go black for a second, flash back, come to realizing you got a pole, you know, 16, 12 foot fucking pole about to. Yeah, so. I'm doing good. Quarter inch off square. Fuck it. I'm okay with that considering I built all this shit at different times and it's all in a hill and incline and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, I kind of have no fucking doing. I'm not thinking moving you on the sun. That's not gonna happen. What have we here? What have we here? It's been many days since I've come outside because we've had triple index fucking heat thingies and yeah, me okay. And uh, but yeah, these posts are probably definitely set by now. And uh, so I'm gonna see about doing some connections. It did occur to me that uh, I don't know what I'm gonna fucking connect this shit with. Like I don't, I don't have like all this is connected with giant ass fucking lag bolts and big old how you doings and I don't have any of that stuff. And then also like. How much can I put in that post? There's a lot of fucking, there's a lot of stuff going into that post. I'm going to put more stuff in and a lot of weight on that post. I mean, not weight, but just a lot of whatever. I don't know how shit works. I mean, I see them build houses on them. They fucking put a million goddamn nails in the end of a 2x4, going into the long side of a 2x4, and that supports the whole damn thing. So, but I mean, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus however many fucking bunch up there and that's a lot of stuff going into this pole but I guess uh fuck I didn't really think about that I didn't really think I don't know we'll see what happens I guess well yeah I got about eight minutes left to record show y'all how I'm doing this real quick before I take a break. Before I take a break and bring out the GoPro. So yeah, I'm just I'm getting about where I want it. And the inside board is there. And the outside board is just to keep the 2x6 from falling away. And same thing on that side. This side is exactly where I want it. Once I get it up there, I'll strap the level to it. Once I get it up there, I'll, I'll strap the level to the 2x6 and then and these and adjust this accordingly until I get it perfectly level and uh, I'm gonna Uncle Bobino and then it'll be really easy to find the angle of this one coming down this way to match that one because the cross piece will be the same so easy peasy all of the limits squeeze also tease.
Dump yesterday to dump all that shit. And I don't know if I told y'all or not. I really dicked my back because my son fucking did not listen and just filled that shit way too fucking full. And I didn't have handles on it. And uh, yeah, so I was trying to fucking manipulate it just by holding the rim and like nothing, you know, imagining there's a handle on the bottom and trying to hold on to that. And uh, sure enough, that motherfucker, you know, he had it so packed full of shit that it wouldn't even come out. And I could barely fucking get it off the trailer and fucking onto the trailer and then off the trailer and then flipped over sideways. And I'm trying to use the side of the trash can as, as a fulcrum point to try to kind of bounce it. And how you doing? And before I know it, nothing's coming out of the trash can, but the whole damn thing is dragging me with it into the big fucking 15 foot deep dumpster because I'd be goddamn if I'm letting that motherfucker go. But luckily, I'd already thrown enough stuff in, you know, <laughs> my wood and my fucking chairs and all that bullshit that I had, like, enough stuff to stand on. And so, uh, and so I freaking, uh, I didn't fall all the way in the dumpster, only fell a few feet in, was able to stabilize myself and drag the trash can back up, and doing that, like, I just about fucking slipped a disc. So, I didn't work out yesterday, didn't do any yoga yesterday, didn't, uh, go for a walk and didn't do any physical activity besides going to the dump and dumping all that shit and taking everything off the trailer um and then I just came home and started drinking at fucking like three o'clock <laughs> my back was fucking dicked and my back woke me up screaming this morning about seven-ish or so I don't know what time I went to bed but anyway after about five six hours of sleep my back was just screaming for me to get the fuck up so I did and uh there's moisture in the air as you can see so you know obviously I woke up in a dead fucking fright because there's water in the sky and uh took me a couple hours to get over that and then what the fuck is wrong with me dude like I mean Jesus Christ I always heard about people who had these things but I mean, not badass motherfuckers like me that don't give two solid fucks about, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, dude? <sighs> you know, I mean, I grew up in Tornado Alley, right? Shit been fucking, and now I'm just fucking terrified. So I don't know what it is, but I'll dwell on that for the next fucking four years, probably, until I get over this psychosis. And, uh, meantime, I'll just keep walking, keep talking, and hopefully fucking keep wearing out the anxiety and quicker and quicker bits and having hang around for smaller and smaller times and just eliminate this shit altogether. And wouldn't that be dandy? My brother and I still got these fucking river rocks all over his fucking on his trailer here, so I don't know what the dillio is. I don't know why he's still hanging them, hanging about with him. Still got all this dirt. It totally needs to be under my fucking carport thing. Like, what a fucking dick, dude. Like, if I had a tractor, you know, I fuck, I mean, I'll just ask him, really. I'll just fucking roll up in his fucking and just corner his ass. And be like, hey, man, I need to use a tractor. I need some of that dirt that you got growing, grass growing on your fucking front shit that you're trying to fucking grow a hill out of. And I need to put it under my shit. Like I, you know, called you and asked you about fucking ten months ago. So, what's up? Where's the keys at? And the tractor? Oh, well, it's not, it's not acting quite right. Don't worry about it. I know how to drive a tractor. It's good. Still shifts gears and all that, right? Clutch works. Hydraulics works. Yeah, I'll do small buckets. It's all good. I won't load a full bucket. I'll do small buckets. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I could. Well, nah, it's cool. I'll just go ahead and I'll take it. Work out any kinks. See if it works out. If it's real fucked up, I guess we'll take it in the shop and see if I get it fixed. Oh, I mean, you mean just fucking just address every fucking excuse that comes out of his face with a fucking solution. With the answer to the fucking problem. You know, until he's got no more fucking excuses. And he has to just need to come right out and be like, you know, has to give in and give it over or just come right out and be like, you know what, dude? Basically, I'm a shitbag, dirtbag motherfucker who doesn't give a fuck about anybody and thinks I'm the only fucking thing that matters on the planet. You know, if it's mine, it's gold, and if it's yours, it's shit. You know, that's why he's not mowing the fields, right? Because they're technically not in his name, they're not his fields. You can fucking bet if this shit was in his name, he'd probably be maintaining it. You can bet he'd probably be maintaining it? Yeah. <sighs> so I'm carrying the weights in the arms, the two pounds. I need to be going like this, though, right? Like the, like the ladies do with the power walking. I need to have them. How you doing? Just fucking really. Just working the old bat malls and the fucking the biceps and the triceratops and the, and the shoulder. Well, that's definitely a lot harder than just walking with them, I'll tell you that. Um, I'll probably walk with them for a couple weeks. And, uh, you can't walk with a two-pound weight boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Some kind of pussified pussy pussy or what? Well, here's the thing, people. I tried to explain to y'all that, uh, if it's, if it's not new, then it ain't building nothing. And your body don't see it as exercise, so it doesn't do anything special with it. It's the most basic way I can fucking put it to you. That's why the P90 works so well. Because it's constantly shocking different muscle groups into movements and behaviors that not only are they not accustomed to, that, that they often they just don't even fucking ever get to experience. So no matter how physical your job is, 
or how physical you are on a daily basis. If it's the same shit you do every fucking day, then all it does is kind of maintain where you're at. It never grows anything more. That's why, you know, what is it, just a, is it kinetic? Is that what it's called when you're just a, or isa, what is it, like just holding? You know what I mean? Just do that. Isometric, what is that fucking called? What is that workout called where you just hold weights? Like, you don't think it's hard to hold up a five pound weight or two pound weight, but you, better do, you try to do that shit for five fucking minutes. Kinetic resistance, I forget what the fucking, I gotta build my way up to doing things like this for the whole walk, but believe me, a couple weeks of doing it regular, I'll be able to do walks like this. A couple weeks or a couple months of that, I'll be able to move up to five pound weights. Then maybe some 10 pound evens, which would just be insane. You know, you don't want to go with much more than that, I would imagine. But yeah, so you know, if you ain't doing it, you probably ought to start, because the younger you start, the sooner you start, the easier it's going to be when you get to my age. The easier it's going to be to to be, you know, easier it's going to be to form it as a habit. You know, the sooner you do it, the longer you're doing it, the easier it is, you know, the more habit forming it becomes. God forbid you. You know, if I'd have been doing shit like this, honestly, my whole life, I would have never done something like this in San Diego. I would have seen it as embarrassing. I live in the city. When I never, I'd, I'd have thought like, like the only time I stopped being physically active when I moved away from Balboa Park. When I lived across the street from Balboa Park, and I'd get off work at night. I'd go over and I'd do my workout in Balboa Park at night when nobody was there. And I'd ride several miles, or rollerblade several miles, um, and go over to the little playground gym and do upper body. And uh, well, that all stopped when I moved away from Balboa Park and I moved to Imperial Beach. And uh, you think, oh, he's by the beach? Well, it wasn't by the beach. I was in the neighborhood by the bay, and it was a little fucking gangster town. So uh, you know. Last thing I want to do is, you know, I was hesitant to, you know, expose myself in that manner, you know, I had to, I had to be Mr. Badass all the time, you know, lest I, lest I get rocked by some jackass trying to prove his worth on the street, so you gotta stay vigilant and tough, and you don't look like, you know, someone who's tough and a badass walking in the street, and your work boots and your fucking two pound weights, you know, even though really, it's just fucking retarded, like, obviously, you know, I was a badass, <laughs> I mean, like, I fucked up into somebody anyway, you know, to be like, um, come get something, bitch, I literally got fucking power punches in my fucking hand, what's up, but, uh, yeah, so again, just stupid. Same reason, not, you know, you think you need a cool car at 18 because you're a fucking dipshit. But uh, nonetheless, talking to y'all makes the walk fly by. And the humidity is picking right up. I was actually kind of hoping for some rain. Stopped up before I came out.